Hello YouTube channel tribe. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Jacob and today I am going to be reviewing this Movo XL diving rig bundle with two waterproof LED lights, uh, model number GBU80, uh, solid aluminum cage rig with uh, two cold shoe mounts, multiple quarter inch and three eighths threads, action camera mounting adapter, and two waterproof LED lights. And here is the rig. Um, I put it together, I added some zip ties for strength. Um, I don't know about these plastic dials on these uh, plastic shoe mounts, but I'll give it a try. Uh, it came with a few GoPro attachments. Um, I don't know what all these clips are, but uh, some hinge replacements for the lights should ever those uh, break or crack as they always do. And uh, a couple of extra um, GoPro fasteners, which I always appreciate. I haven't lost one yet, but it's bound to happen. And uh, yeah, so I was looking for a video on um, that would tell me how bright these lights were, if they were worth the money. Uh, everything out there was kind of vague. Um, a couple of unboxings and some complaints, uh, some talking about this and that, but not an, a real in-depth uh, actual physical review of the lights. So I plan to change that tonight and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate that by going outside into my yard at nighttime and turning these lights on and uh, taking a stroll throughout my yard and shooting maybe some trees, some overhangs, uh, some lawns, some walks, uh, some different approaches uh, to objects uh, from different angles as the light comes into focus. Uh, just to give you a clear idea of what you're getting for your money, uh, how bright these lights are or are not, what to expect. Um, so uh, with that being said, uh, let's go. Again, this is the Movo uh, GBU80 um, rig bundle with uh, waterproof LED lights. And uh, coming up next is that, uh, is that nocturnal light test outside in the yard. And uh, let's see what uh, this can do. I'm gonna be using my uh, GoPro 8 Hero Black on, on here um, just to, uh, again, just to capture some footage. Um, with this light and um, and see what kind of light it renders uh, and see what you get for your money okay all right let's uh let's go outside and see uh what this thing can do all right youtube family once again as promised here i am i'm outside um on this beautiful florida night um it's uh pretty dark outside now and uh, I want to give a demonstration of the lighting kit brightness on the uh, Movo, Movo, excuse me, uh, grab bar lighting kit. Um, I'm going to use these for diving on Saturday. Uh, but just to get myself an idea and the viewers an idea of how bright these lights are, I couldn't find a thing online like I've said before. So um, um, here's me making a video of how bright these lights are in case you were wondering. And uh, this way you know what you get for your money, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna turn the lights on. There's light number one. And there's light number two. All right, so here we go. You kind of see across the street, my neighbor's houses, neighborhood. Uh, this is my storage garage area. I'm walking over to the main house now. Bit of a little field inspection. So, uh, so far these are pretty bright. I mean, I feel pretty safe navigating with these. Again, I don't know what water is gonna do with the brightness. Um, but just to give you an idea of how bright these lights are and what you're getting uh, for the money. Okay, here's a palm tree at nighttime. Uh, it lights up, the color's pretty good. Um, you know, it's not dim. I've seen brighter, like I said, but for the size and the price, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, but uh, here's what this looks like at nighttime. If you do, uh, um, you 
gives you an idea of uh, this old rusty old tank out here. Okay. This really gives you uh, an idea of uh, what this light can do. And what it looks like from far away, up close. Um, it's a pretty versatile light in my opinion. Uh, it really brightens up those up close shots and it gives you enough light uh, to capture a, um, a nighttime shots with respectable quality. Give you plenty of of ideas of what these lights actually look like at nighttime. Here's my neighbors in the back's house little area lit up. I wonder what that looks like on camera. We'll see in the playback. I can't tell right now. But here's an uplight on this giant oak tree in the backyard. And. Uh, the live oak tree stump. It's a beautiful specimen. And they're just kind of letting you see what these lights really can do at nighttime. Uh, so far I'm impressed. Um, nice crisp sharp picture colors and shadows coming in nicely um, you know that can be manipulated and it will do what you want it to do depending on the direction you aim the light you'll give you that different Here, yeah, lots of the palm trees on my property line, and again, um, really nice, bright, vivid light. Not the brightest, not the whitest either. It's uh, it's definitely has its uh, its focal point, um, but it definitely uh, covers the lens. Um, uh, the lens parameters well uh, with the lights given and this is without me making adjustments I, I can always adjust the lights outwardly or something these are pointing straight forward uh, just to give you a, uh, an idea of the maximum output of light there's some more up close shots of these uh, palm trees just again just so you can see the light output these lights really can do and we'll see Saturday underwater look for that review uh, so these are the the Movo lights mounted on the light kit with the GoPro Hero 8 at night time uh, and uh, yeah hopefully that gives you an idea there's the kayak lit up and uh, I guess we'll end the video here that's one light off and this is the last light off.